Uh, I think one of the most useful things uh, I did was to persuade the government to raise the age at which spouses, husbands or wives could be brought uh, into the country, which made it more difficult for uh, parents to marry off uh, young girls, sometimes forcibly, uh, uh, to men from the Indian subcontinent, Pakistan, India, uh, Bangladesh. I think there's a balance to be struck. Fifty years ago, I think they spent too much time listening to debates and not enough time attending to the uh, affairs of their constituents. Uh, now, arguably, it's gone the other way. Uh, we spend, some, some members anyway, spend far too much time in and around the constituency and not enough time holding the executive to account, which is why we're really here. So yes, I think there needs to be uh, some slight adjustment uh, back in favour uh, of, uh, of Parliament. Well, it would be very helpful if we had a free press in this country instead of one owned by uh, half a dozen uh, multi, either multinational companies or um, I extremely rich billionaires, uh, many of whom have their own agenda, in one case a pornographer. Well, again, there's a balance to be struck. Uh, by and large, the interests of my party uh, coincide with those uh, of my constituents. My constituents are concerned about jobs, housing, uh, that sort of thing, and that's what the Labour Party exists to, uh, to, 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 try, and, uh, uh, to try and achieve. Uh, on an issue of conscience, like the Iraq War, for example, uh, whatever the view of my party or my constituency, I would vote according to what I thought was right, and in that case I voted against the uh, Iraq war, even though I suspect most of my constituents were really in favour at the time, though now, of course, I guess it's a different issue. Oh, because I wanted to make the world a better place and had the uh, conceit to believe uh, that perhaps I could make a contribution, whether I'm right or not, uh, is for others to judge.